Signe Gleeson explains what the new Labour Party's greatest strength is going to be. What is the greatest strength? The fact is that we're, we're right. <laughs> Our message is correct. Um, and that I believe that what we say resonates with most people's experience. Essentially, that's my hope. And we have people like me involved. <laughs> As we approach another presidential election, it might be worth reminding ourselves of what happened the last time the Democratic National Convention was held here in Chicago in 1968, when students seeking change came up against the establishment's first line of protection, namely the police. The power structure, when pushed, was and is quite prepared to use whatever means are at its disposal to maintain the law, the power of property over people. All of these structures, I believe, stand in the way of a new Socialist Labour Party. Politics and government cannot raise children, write love songs, create computer languages, invent the technology after the microchip, or discover a cure for cancer. But politics and government do shape the conditions under which such acts of creativity are made easier or harder, more likely or less likely. Politics has everything to do with building a more just, more civil society. Those who rallied to progressivism, the cause of those who believe that democratic government has the capacity to improve society, always understood this. Their time has come again.